Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be tackling our basement, not makeovers. I know we've been doing that for the last several videos, but because we have done four makeovers basically back to back in the last few weeks, we have a complete disaster down here in our basement. I know you can see a lot of it behind me and this is not even the worst part. So I'm gonna show you guys some before shots. Just brace yourself and know that this is just real life, so this is totally what happens behind the scenes of the makeovers, but we are going to be tackling all of it today. We are going to get this basement looking nice, feeling nice once again. Our chairs did come in, so I'm going to be sharing what those look like and just a few little updates here and there. And then once we're done cleaning the space, I'm actually going to take you guys through and do a basement tour. It's like an almost finished basement tour because we do still have a few areas that we need to tackle down here. But for the most part, it's pretty much finished. And then I'll kind of talk to you guys about what we have planned going forward down in the basement. Also, if you are new to my channel or you have missed my basement makeover series recently, I will go ahead and link that up in an iCard and also down below for you guys there's a huge giveaway going on throughout that series so make sure that you go check it out and get entered to win but also that will kind of show you what this started out as a few weeks ago and what it is like now we have a lot to get done let's go ahead and get into it So I have to say I am feeling a bit overwhelmed just because there is so much mess and so much to get done. So I think I'm going to start in like the smallest area over here, tackle this spot, and then we will kind of move on from there. So as I'm editing this video, I am just looking around and just feeling so incredibly grateful that we were able to share our basement makeover series with you guys recently. We have seriously transformed the space into something that was pretty neat to something that is just completely cozy and a place that we really love being. And just being able to share that with you guys has meant so much to us. But you guys will have to comment below letting me know if you have seen all four of the episodes that have been released already. And if so, which one was your favorite? I would just love to hear like which rooms and which areas really made you excited. Your hands, the way you're touching me around my neck, got chills down my back. You do it right, the way you're holding me. No, I don't want this moment to stop. No need to fight it, I cannot hide it. We won't regret it. So come with me, maybe we're meant to be. Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> So I finally got everything cleaned in this first little area. I know it doesn't totally look clean, but it is so much better. And the things that I'm doing are actually clean. They're just not quite put away in every way. So one little tip is if you have an area that is really overwhelming, I would definitely say start in the smallest area. That way you can see a big improvement very quickly and it will start to kind of snowball your motivation keep you wanting to do more another tip is if you have a space that has like a ton of things that need to go all over the house or all over your apartment try to find some extra bins that you might have laying around and just start organizing things in like things that need to go upstairs things that need to be donated things that are just garbage and then that will just help you kind of really quickly put things away without having to use up the time like actually taking them and putting them away and then that way you can just do it all at once. So these are some chairs. I'm actually going to be finishing building them. They are just like this one. This is just a bag of garbage. This is things that we need to take upstairs and then these are items that are actually going to be donated along with that little bin right there. Okay, so I still do have a ton to get done downstairs but I just wanted to pop up here because I feel like everybody is getting a little bit hungry and so I'm just going to go through and really tidy up the kitchen area because surprise surprise it's a mess there's dishes in the sink I'm gonna clean everything up and then we are going to whip something up really quick get everybody fed and then I'll head back downstairs get everything totally clean and then I'll also be sharing the basement home tour with you guys so we have a lot to get done so let's go ahead get to cleaning up here and then cooking you know that I'm the queen of 
overthinking It's like we're done before we even started So if this is the end now, baby Know that I gave him my all I so it may seem silly to clean before cooking because I am just going to be starting to make another big mess once I start cooking. But for me, it just feels so much nicer to cook in a tidy space. And it also really encourages me to clean everything up once I'm done cooking because I've already given myself such a great head start. And then it just doesn't take that long to get everything back into order once I'm completely done cooking. So that's kind of my mindset when I'm going into cleaning a space right before I know I'm about to mess it up again. So I have been loving this new sink scrub that I got. I love to mix it with some dish soap and just kind of clean my sink with it. But let me know if you guys use just regular dish soap or do you add something special when you clean your sink? I would say a majority of the time I just use dish soap, but a few times a week I do like to use something a little bit extra special and I feel like it just kind of makes me enjoy this chore a little bit more. Everything is all nice and clean and tidy up here. So let's go ahead and start cooking and then we will head back downstairs, get everything nice and tidy down there and do the basement tour. So let's do this. So I am super excited to be teaming up with Green Chef on today's video. If y'all have been with me for a while, you may remember me using HelloFresh in the past, which we have completely loved. But a while back I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's and I've ended up having to change the way I eat, going mostly gluten and dairy free and even paleo sometimes when I can. So finding out about Green Chef a few months back has been such a blessing to our family. We have ordered their meal kits several times now and I love that they are a USDA certified organic company that offers easy and affordable meal plans to fit so many different lifestyles. And Green Chef is actually owned by HelloFresh, which means that we are still getting that amazing quality, but now we just have the option to get a wider variety of meal plans to choose from, like paleo, plant-powered, keto, and balanced living. And if you haven't ever tried their meal kits, they are such a lifesaver. They make it so incredibly easy to go right onto their website, pick your plan, and then it's all delivered right to your door. And the ingredients come pre-measured, perfectly portioned, and mostly prepped. And they also include step-by-step -step instructions to to make cooking everything super simple. So I always order the paleo meal plan from them and it's helped me get more meal ideas to cook for our family. And also when we have super busy weeks, it has saved us so many times from having to order takeout or grab fast food. And during those busy weeks, I know that it's not only saved us money and time, but it's also helped us stay eating the way that we want to. Green Chef is offering y'all an amazing discount. Just use the code AMANDA80 to get $80 off your first month 
plus free shipping on your first box. Just go to greenchef.us slash amanda80 to redeem that offer and get more details. And of course, I will have that link and code in the description box for you guys to take advantage of. So while everyone was starting to enjoy the dish that I just cooked, I just went ahead and did a really quick tidy up in the kitchen just so that I could leave the kitchen looking really nice. I knew it wouldn't take me that long and I also knew my future self would definitely appreciate that. We just finished eating and I kind of had tidied up as I was going and I did a really quick tidy. So now we are ready to head back downstairs and get things done down there. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up a love friends, we love to cry to best because we wanna. So I feel like spaces that are so messy and so cluttered just like this space is right now can feel really overwhelming before you get going with it. But I have found even if you don't know where to start with a project or you don't really want to start with a project, if you just start by picking up one thing and then another and putting them away and also focusing on the small tasks versus the whole big picture, you will get your motivation rolling before you know it. We just want to dance on our own. We came to party all night long. So right here I am just flipping and fluffing all of our cushions just to help our couch wear evenly and also I feel like it makes it feel extra comfy when you go to sit back down again so I do this probably once every one to two weeks. Okay, so we can officially see our floor once again, finally. It has been literally weeks since this has been nice and tidy. So finally, feels so good. Now, do not let 
the camera fool you this is definitely still not clean i'll show you guys an up close to the floor but there's a lot that we need to still vacuum i'm going to go in the boys rooms and just tidy up in there and then i also am going to be building the chairs which are like these ones that will go by the table so we have lots more to get done but we are making lots and lots of progress Okay, here I'm just kind of cleaning off the stairs, but you guys are not going to believe how bad the up close of the carpet is on the stairway. You'll see that a little bit later on in the video, but just from all the construction and honestly just neglect while we were focusing on the basement makeovers, they were covered in hair and dirt and dust and you guys will just see it later, but it's gross. So I'm going to wait to vacuum everywhere until I have all the boys rooms clean and then I can just vacuum everything all at once. I just feel like that will be a little bit easier. But before we head into the boys room, I do want to build these chairs. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done really quick and then we will move on to each of the boys rooms. So these are the chairs that I had originally picked out for this table. I ordered them off of Amazon and I really like them, but it took them like a month to come in. And so these chairs right here are actually the ones that used to be at our dining table. And if you remember, I kind of changed those up a while back. And so because we were waiting so long on these, we just ended up bringing these ones down and we played games on this table a bunch with them. And they have been so comfortable to play on. And so we decided to go ahead and just only get the four pack of these just so that when we do have guests over we can go ahead and have enough chairs but for now we're just going to be using like our main old dining room chairs and then because these are super compact and they're able to be stackable we are just going to store these for now until we have guests and then we'll pull them out and then use them that way so kind of a little bit of a change up on the chairs but i just wanted to go ahead and get them built and now we will store them either in our shed or possibly in like our little storage closet down here Once we had got the main room in the basement tackled, I just started moving on to the boys' room and the first room was Noah's. Now, typically I would be including our boys and in cleaning up the mess of their bedrooms. However, because a lot of this kind of did come from the makeover, I just decided to do it myself. And also maybe even a bigger reason is today I just had so much going on and just so much to get done. I really wanted to tackle this myself just so that I could really get it done a little bit quicker. And I know you guys can totally understand where I'm coming from with that. So a lot of times, I will do the responsible thing and have our kids included in this but some days I just need to get things done quickly and that was totally the case today. to Luke's room and honestly Luke's room is still pretty clean. This is the last room that we did so that's probably why this one is still pretty clean. Wish I could say I was finally over you but that's not 
the truth. So you'll have to comment down below and let me know, do your kids do their own laundry? Do they kind of help you with their laundry or are they not really a part of it at all yet? Typically for Luke and Liam, they do a lot of their own laundry and they always are the ones to put their laundry away. And then with Noah, since he is just four, I will still help him put away stuff, but I'm still including him in the process typically, just so that he learns how to do it and kind of learns that responsibility. Option to be someone else, I would And like all of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious Forget I made this way But why didn't I stay When I had the chance Maybe it will pass by Someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done in my drink At this pace So I do have to say, even though this basement was completely trashed, it was so nice to clean it up with organization systems in place. I have said this so many times, but organizing your spaces will really make things so much easier and it will also save you so much time in the long run. I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -mm. Why am I the only one who's left in the rain with nobody to hold on to? Ooh. Why am I the only one who's feeling this pain when there should be two of us? And yeah, I know we both wanted different things, but letting go just comes easy to you. We are not even like halfway through the basement and I already have to go empty this out because it is totally full. There was so much dirt and hair and styrofoam and everything on the floor down here. Ugh. Tell me what you have to go and drive me so crazy. Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be without you, baby. Won't you all night long? Won't you all You have to go and drive me so crazy Now I'm feeling lost without you And I just can't be Without you, baby Want you all night long Want you all night long Want you all night Why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling 
Okay, so we are all done cleaning. It looks like a bazillion times better down here. So now that everything is nice and tidy, I'm going to take advantage of that because I know it will not last super long here. But I wanted to show you guys like a little almost finished basement tour. I will do my best to link everything down below that I use down here. And then if you guys have any other questions about anything, feel free to comment down below just asking me about where something's from and I will do my best to let you know or give you a link for us. All right, so coming down the basement stairs, this is what you see. There's the stairs behind me. I love this entryway. This is probably like the thing that I really had the biggest idea about how I exactly wanted to decorate down here. I just have had this like vision in my mind for so, so long. So this table right here is from Hobby Lobby. I believe this piece right here is from Home Goods, Target, Home Goods, Target, Marshalls, Hobby Lobby for that pillow. This little basket was from Marshalls. I want to say this was from Target or maybe Marshalls as well. And then this mirror is one of my very favorite things and this is from Amazon. I am obsessed with this, I love it so much. And then I get so many questions about both our accent wall color and also our main wall color. So the main wall color is the same color throughout our entire house and this color is Benjamin Moore Revere Pewter and then this one is Poppy Seed from Bear, which we got from Home Depot. Then coming out of the foyer area, we actually opened this up because originally it was just one little door and we wanted it to be like a big opening. And now in here we have like a game room. So I got this table off of Wayfair. These were from a furniture store years ago. And then the other chairs that we got are from Amazon. And I searched for months and months for this table. I just was super picky about what we wanted and I ended up finding this one and we could not love it more. It is made of like solid, real wood. It's like the most heavy duty quality. We just love this table so much and I feel like it's kind of a statement piece. Then in that corner we have the plant that is I think from Ross years ago and then the plant stand is from Amazon. This bookshelf is also from Wayfair and then I think all of the decor on here is actually from Hobby Lobby. Minus a few things like the diffuser which is from Target and then like random plants here and there are from Marshalls. And then I've gotten several questions about where we are going to be keeping our board games because this is a game room. So I got this big basket from at home. I don't even know if you can see really how big it is, but it's really huge. Like there is so many board games in here and it's really nice because everything is nicely contained, but it's super easy and convenient to grab. And we have honestly played so many games just sitting around the table ever since having this room set up. We have just loved it. So here is kind of a quick little overview of our entryway and the game room. Now in this area right here, right next to the game room, it's kind of like a little room on its own, but it's open. So right now we just have like exercise equipment in there, but eventually, well not really eventually, probably in the next month or so, we are going to be building some built-in bunk beds up on the walls. I feel like making this a bunk bedroom is going to be so much fun when we have guests over, especially like all the boys' cousins, it will just be a lot of fun. Then coming out of those areas, it's all very open down here, but we have like our main living area in the basement. So we have this couch and I get a ton of questions about where it's from. This is from Ashley Furniture. I will do my best to link it down below. This blanket is from Burlington Coat Factory. And then all of the pillow covers are from Amazon. And this tray right here is from Hobby Lobby. And I actually have found what we are going to do with this wall. I cannot wait to show you guys. I will kind of put up a picture on the screen to show you, but I feel like what we are going to do there is going to look amazing. Then across from the sectional, we just have two TVs and a projector up here. I feel like it's a little bit crazy. And then we have our TV stand. The TV stand is from Walmart. The baskets are from Marshalls. And then I think that basket is as well. This is just like our toy basket. 
And then I got a plant for Marshalls as well. So I've mentioned it before, but Kyle and I actually like to play video games together, which is why we have the two TVs. I feel like we always get so many questions like, why in the world do you have two TVs? I totally get it, it looks kind of weird, but otherwise we used to have to play like in different rooms. And just since we have like a media space down here, we figured we might as well go ahead and put the two TVs that way we can play next to each other and it's just been so much fun for like at home date nights. And I'll also take a second to address the door right here. I get so many questions about what this door is if it goes to outside. It does not go to outside. I kind of wish that we had an entrance to outside from the basement, but it's actually for a sump pump. So it's not really finished in here, but basically if like the basement starts to flood, the sump pump will help from having all the water come out and it will pump it outside. So that is a quick little overview of our main living space in the basement. Quickly, I'm gonna pop back over to this side. So we are coming down to the entryway and instead of turning left into the main area, we are going to turn right. And this is where you get into Noah's bedroom, which is our four-year-old little boy. So his bedroom is kind of a little bit weird. I don't think they really wanted it to be a bedroom originally. Like there was no room for closets. We kind of just put one over there, but it did have an egress window. It was weird. It had like a drain in the middle of the floor, but we thought if there's room to make another bedroom and if there's a window and a space for a closet, then why not make it another bedroom? And then that way we could have all three of our boys on one level together. So Noah is completely obsessed with Mustang. So we ended up just making him have like a Mustang room. And all of these signs right here are just from Hobby Lobby. This bed, I love it so cool because it actually makes it so that he still has his bed right here, but he actually has a lot of useful space down below. So his bed is actually from Ikea and I just painted this in one of my recent makeovers. This bedding is from Amazon as is that pillow. And then that end is from Hobby Lobby. And then underneath his bed is a little cube organizer and you can get these from Ikea, Walmart, Target, kind of all over. And then underneath his bed, we've made him a little fort. So we just have a little tension rod right here and then a tiny little curtain. And he it just has like a little pillow in there. And it's just so fun because he can pull out his toys and just kind of hang out and play. The next part of his room is this little garage sign. That's from Hobby Lobby. That is from Hobby Lobby. That little Route 66 is from Hobby Lobby. And then all of the cars are just random ones that he's had over the years. And then over here, he just has a little easel. On one side is a chalkboard. And then on the other side is a whiteboard. And this was just from Ikea. And then coming into his closet, this is where his dresser is at. This dresser is from Ikea. And then the dresser labels are from an Etsy shop that I like to order a lot of my signs from. And then the last thing in here, aside from all of his sleeping bags, or all the boys sleeping bags, I guess, is just his laundry bin and that is from Target. And then I almost forgot, but he does have a little lamp right here. This is from Walmart. I actually used to have this in our old guest bedroom. And then behind the door, he has this little space saving wall hook. All the boys have the same one and they are just from Amazon, so I'll link them below as well. And this is a quick overview of Noah's bedroom. So when you come to the stairs from the main living area down here, I will get to this in just a minute, but we have this door right here and excuse the mess. It is just a little closet that I actually have to go through, but that is for another day. So for now, we just close the door. Forget about that little Monica's closet. And then if you turn right, right when you walk up the stairs, you come into Liam's bedroom and he is our six, almost seven year old.
And as you can tell, he is obsessed with Minecraft. So he just has his little toy organizer, which also has his PJs right there. The bins are from Walmart. And then again, you can get that organizer from Target, Walmart, Ikea. And then these are just little canvases that I actually did a DIY for in his makeover. I believe his was just episode number two. So you can go back and watch that if you missed that one. And then his desk is from Ikea as is his chair. I believe that shelf was from Ross. This little thing is from Hobby Lobby, but they have tons of those a lot of different places. His desk lamp was from Walmart. His little alarm clock is actually super cool. It kind of has like a little night light on it when you push it in and that was from Target. And then this is from Home Goods. And then I actually just used a bunch of the toys that he had to decorate his little shelf up here. I thought that would be perfect because he's actually pulled them down a lot just to play with them, but then he can put them back up and just have them for decoration. The curtains that I have in his bedroom are just from Amazon and we are going to be putting blinds on all of the windows in the basement. So we just have not done that yet, but that will come a little bit later on in the makeover series. And then as for his bed, if you saw his room makeover, you know that this was actually a bunk bed. It was like a full bed on bottom and then a twin bed on top. And I kind of talk about more about that in the makeover, but I ended up just taking the top of the bunk bed off and just kind of making this a little bit more of a regular bed and it's worked out so much better this way. So this bed is actually from Walmart and it does have a trundle underneath. And then this is, I believe from Wayfair. I want to say it's from Wayfair, but I'll link it down below for you guys. I love this bedspread. I feel like it's just so neat and it's something that will really grow with him. And then his pillows are just part of a sheet set, which was from Target. This is what his sheet set looks like, Minecraft. <laughs> and then these big pillows were from Target as well. Now over here, he has like a little lounge area. So up above we have some bookshelves. These are actually from Ikea and they're like little spice racks, but I painted them and used them as bookshelves. And then this big poof is from Sam's Club and we got this probably like four or five years ago, but all of our kids just love jumping on this and we haven't had a good spot to keep it. So we were finally able to bring it back out and just let it be in Liam's room for now. And then here is Liam's closet. We do still have to do like built-ins in here or rods or something but for now he has his laundry basket from Target, all of his stuffed animals, and then same dresser from Ikea, and then the same dresser labels. And this is an overview of Liam's bedroom. So finally we are in the last bedroom down here and almost the last area. I'll take you into the bathroom and kind of show you what we were planning with all of that mess, but I'll turn you around and show you what Luke's room looks like. This is Luke's bedroom. He is nine years old. He will be 10 in January. So I kind of made his room a little bit more grown up. He's kind of getting to the age where he's not really liking the kitty stuff. So he has a really neat bedroom because this right here is actually a soffit that we had to build because there's a lot of heating and ductwork up there but it ends up making this little area really neat and kind of like a little cove and really cozy. So the first thing we did in here was painting the back wall that same poppy seed color from Bear. He has his little L from Hobby Lobby as well. And then his headboard is from Ikea. His bedding comforter is just from Walmart. I believe this pillow was from Marshalls. This little dog, his sheet set is just from Walmart as well. And then these little nightstands I think are so cool looking. I have one on each side and they are from Amazon. And then this little lamp is from Walmart as well. And then Luke also has some bookshelves in his bedroom. So these are again the same Ikea shelves. I just had painted them black. And then on this side of his nightstand, he has a clock that's also from Target. And then this is actually like a light, like a nightlight and diffuser. I'll turn it on to show you guys. So it's really cool because it's actually a diffuser, but it also is a nightlight. And so it's really nice for the boys and it can kind of change colors. You can set it to one color. And so each of the boys actually have one of these in their own bedrooms. And then again, he will be having some blinds, but these curtains are just from Amazon. These shelves right here are from Marshall's 
His lamp is from Ikea, as is his desk and desk chair. And I believe that this file holder is just from Marshalls as well. And I forgot to show you this, but Liam has the exact same setup as Luke. So he has this little space saving coat hook with his name above it as well. And I just think that looks so cool. And then right next to his door, he has another one of those little cute organizers. Inside of here, he just has um, some drawers that you put in so that you can have like some more personal space in there. He has a 3D printer that was a gift, I think from last Christmas. And then this is a really cool DIY that I had done in his video. So you can go back and watch that if you're interested in how to do something similar, but I love how that one turned out. And then in Luke's closet, he has kind of the same thing. He has a little gaming chair in here. His laundry basket from Target. This is actually a laundry basket that I think I got from Marshalls, but we ended up using it for like all the really oversized Nerf guns. And then he has the same dresser from Ikea along with the same dresser labels, except his don't have the pictures. And this is a quick little overview of Luke's bedroom. All right, so that's basically the basement. However, we do have a bathroom down here. It's just not finished yet. And that's what I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you and kind of tell you our plans for that. So when you come into Luke and Liam's little hallway, you will turn this way and then you can actually come into what will be a bathroom. Pardon all of the bright lights right there, but we have a little light fixture there. And then right when you walk in, we're going to end up having a vanity right here, a toilet, and then this is kind of like a half wall. And so we'll have like a glass enclosure and we're just going to put a shower in there so they won't have room for like a bath or anything, but it will be really nice to have a full bathroom down here so they still have a shower a toilet and a place to get ready every day. So I am super excited for this, but right now it's just kind of holding a little bit of everything. So this will be coming in the next part of our basement makeover series. So that is our finished basement tour or our almost finished basement tour. Like I had said, we do have a few other things that we are going to be doing to this basement. So definitely stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and don't forget to go check out the link and code in my description box for Green Chef. All you have to do is just go to greenchef.us slash amanda80 and then input the code amanda80 and you can save $80 off of your first month of Green Chef and you will also get free shipping on your first box as well. So definitely make sure you check that out. I hope you guys have the most amazing day. Thank you so, so much for being here and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.